In part one, you learned that 4.18 joules is equal to one calorie. Those are just two different units of energy. What you also have to understand in part two is a thousand little c calories is equal to one nutritional calorie, which is the same as one kilocalorie. So when you look at a food label and you look at the nutritional facts, the calories that you see printed, they really mean nutritional calorie, which is kilocalorie. So highlighted there in the yellow box, that's 230 nutritional calories, which is 230 kilocalories or 230,000 little c calories. Fats have the highest energy content. They have nine calories per gram, followed by carbs and proteins, which have four calories per gram. As a human being, you are programmed to instinctively want or desire foods that are rich in fat content because it has the highest number of calories per gram. So take a hunter-gatherer society, for example. If you successfully hunt an animal, the animal meat provides you with more calories per gram for your efforts. So you'd much rather hunt an animal rather than forage berries all day because those berries provide you with less calories per gram. This is how you calculate the number of calories in a food sample. So you take your fats, so there's eight grams in that green box, and I multiply that by nine because there's nine calories per gram, so I get 72. Next, I look at carbs, so there's 37 grams. I'm gonna multiply that by four, I get 148. And last but not least, I have proteins. I take three grams, I multiply that by four, I get 12. When I add up those three sources of energy, I get roughly 230 calories. To all my students out there listening, your age group demands the most calories per day. So you can see there in the red box for females between the ages of 14 to 18, it's divided into three categories. So sedentary, moderately active, and active. So those numbers represent the number of calories you need to take in per day. So let's say you're an active person, you do cheer, you do lacrosse, basketball, swim, water polo. You're going to need 2,400 calories per day to sustain your growth. For boys, it's a little bit more, okay? So if you play a sport like rugby, football, basketball, you're gonna need anywhere between 2,800 to 3,200 calories per day. I'm gonna show you a crude way to calculate the number of calories inside a food sample. I'm gonna burn a Cheeto underneath a can that has water in it. Then I'm gonna measure the temperature difference before and after. And then I'm gonna plug that into an equation called Q equals MC delta T to then calculate the number of calories. I've poured the water into the can. It was a total of 200 milliliters or 200 grams of water. So what I wanna do next is take the initial temperature of the water inside the can. So it's gonna be around room temperature, which is 20 degrees Celsius. So I've set the Cheeto on fire and now I would just stick it underneath the can for however long it's gonna take until it just burns out completely and you're just left with a Cheeto carcass. This could take anywhere between one to five minutes for it to burn out. So I'm done burning the Cheeto. That's what it looks like. It's a Cheeto carcass. Okay, all the fat content inside has been burned completely. Now that the Cheeto has released its heat to the water in the can, you can now take the final temperature. So once I do that, I'm gonna get 81.5 for the final temperature. Now I go back to my equation Q equals MC delta T, where M represents the mass of the water, C represents the specific heat of the water, and delta T is a change in temperature. So at this point, I just need to plug in the values that I measured during the lab. So for M, I'm going to plug in 200 G, 200 grams. The specific heat of water is something that you'll have to recognize and remember. It's 4.18 joules per grams degrees Celsius. So that's the energy required to change one gram of water by one degree Celsius. So I'm gonna plug in 4.18 there. Finally, for delta T, it's always T final minus T initial. So it's 81.5 minus 20 degrees Celsius. I cancel my units, the grams go away, degrees Celsius will go away, and I'm left with joules in that green box. So once I type in my numbers, I'm gonna get 51,414 joules. I need to take my joules and convert that to little c calories. So I will divide by 4.18. You can see there my joules will cancel out. I'm left with 12,300 calories, little c calories. Take 12,300, divide by 1,000. So that's how I convert to kilocalories. So I get 12.3 kilocalories, or that's the same as 12.3 nutritional calories in one single Cheeto. I want you to look at the nutritional facts for Cheeto puffs. 
So a serving size has about 13 pieces. So the amount per serving for calories is 160. So what you have to do next is you take your 12.3 nutritional calories that you saw before, because that represents the number of calories in one Cheeto. You then have to multiply that by 13. So uh, from my experiment, I got roughly 160 calories per serving size, which matches up with the nutritional facts. All right, guys, that's it for me. Make sure you resubmit your notes to Google Classroom. I'm out of here. I'll talk to you guys next time on wind chemistry. Peace out. I'm going to fade off into the sunset.